I found an interview of Lady Diana that I want to include in my essay, but trying to figure out how to do a works cited citation for that is making me nuts. Let's figure out how we would do that together. Here's what I have. Here's the URL where the video is found. There's the title of that video. This is the name of the video YouTube channel. This is the name of the person who conducted the interview. Let's go to EasyBib and see how easy it is to create this citation. I've logged in EasyBib. I go to my lists. I find the project that I'm working on and I create a citation. Now, while I'm in here, this is where I'm going to click interview. Remember all these 59 methods. I'm going to go down to the method of an interview. Now you can see that the interview boxes are there for me to fill out. And first thing, was it an interview in a magazine, an interview from a newspaper, from a website, on TV or radio? We're going to do from a website because it's from YouTube. And I'm going to put this in the title. There's the title. Now I'm going to put in the interviewer. That's Alastair Burnett from that little blip we saw below. Now we're going to add this and we're going to do the interviewee and we're going to put down these names. Next, I put down the website title, the publisher or that royal family, and then the URL, the year of the interview of the publishing, 1985, and then the date access is 2023. That's not when it was necessarily electronically published, and if I cannot find when that article was electronically published, then I can't. Now, let's say that I've gotten all tangled up in something. It's an interview with somebody who mentions another interview about somebody else, and it gets all tangled up. And now I'm confused, and my reader, I'm afraid, is confused. Then I can go down here and I can add a very short explanation here in the annotation box. No more than one sentence explaining this interview was originally uh, conducted on this date and refers to an article from this date, right? So just making it very clear to the reader exactly what the reader needs to know. You see what I mean? Just a sentence that explains any content that I just can't seem to cite using any of the boxes. Now I click create, complete the citation, and the citation will show up in the window. And then if I'm writing about this article in my essay, here's how that inline citation works. This, of course, is the citation for the Works Cited page, but here's what it would look like. I'm quoting from that YouTube video, and I simply indicate the Burnett interview. All the inline citation is responsible for is making sure the reader knows exactly where they can find the detailed citation in the works cited list. That concludes this tutorial on how to cite an interview within an interview that refers to another interview. It's much simpler than it seems. Just make sure that everything is crystal clear and documented for the reader to make sure the reader does not get confused.